So I arrived at, at Berkeley, you know, I had to find an apartment, you know, the usual things that graduate students do. Um, I lived with a bunch of astronomer graduate students. In any case, I wanted to do artificial intelligence. At the time, there were a few people at Berkeley doing artificial intelligence, but uh, as I told you, serendipity is the name of the game. Um, I was a TA, I had to support myself, so I had a teaching assistantship, and then I um, actually somehow got to work with uh, Dave Patterson a, on um, the RISC project. And my part of the project was to figure out which instructions, in fact, are being used most often in Pascal programs. So I was uh, quite the programmer at the time. And I worked on this very large uh, system, uh, which I think adapted a, an existing Pascal compiler a sort of thing that collects dynamic um, statistics, and I modified it a sort of extensively to figure out which instructions should really be optimized or put in hardware. And that was my master's thesis. You know, it's a lot of work. It's very intense. The whole idea of being incredibly focused on a project, you know, and being in the office from day to night, it was born at that time. I mean, as an undergraduate, you spend a lot of time in libraries and studying for exams. But this idea that you have your own project and you, you set your own deadlines, although, you know, the professors expect things of you, it really comes from that time. You know, I remember the professors, they were, um, they were the theory professors. There was Manuel Blum and Dick Karp and Gene Lawler. And uh, I remember meeting a theory students, you know, the theory graduate students. A, there was uh, Silvio which later on became a very close friend and a close colleague of mine. There was Vijay Vazirani, uh, there was Faith Fick, there was uh, Joan Plumstead, there was Mike Luby, and they were all contemporaries of mine. And uh, I liked them, you know, uh, I liked some of them more than others, but you know, <laughs> as things are. And they were, they were interesting characters. And then I met, I took a, I met Manuel Blum, and Manuel uh, offered me to be his student. And I spent the summer working with him, and that was fantastic, you know, because he was such an unusual thinker, and he wanted to work with me, or he suggested that I would be his graduate student. It was a huge compliment. I think that Vijay and Sylvia were his graduate students. I think before that it was um, uh, Mike Sipser and Dana Anglin, uh, and we were sort of the new wave. Right. They were extremely intense. They really loved what they were doing. They were talk about this incessantly, but they were a lot of fun too. You know, Sylvia was from Italy and Vijay was from India, and they were so colorful and they had fabulous sense of humor. And they went out to restaurants all the time, talked about work and told stories. It was really just somehow these were people of the world. So as much as I liked Carnegie Mellon and had a lot of good friends, um, this was like a different dimension uh, of personalities. If you think about it, people come to graduate school from foreign countries, you know, they have lived a different life, each one of them. They're older, they're sort of more worldly, and um, I was taken by it. 